Hi everyone, my name is Felicia and welcome to the Acne Channel. Today I wanted to talk about the top 10 microneedling mistakes to avoid. The first mistake would be microneedling too often. You essentially want to give your skin enough time to heal. If you continue to microneedle your face when your face has not properly healed from the last session, it's going to increase in irritation and inflammation and that's not what you want. That's not the point of microneedling. So the Banisher 2.0 actually, because of its needle size, you can actually use that every week. But personally, I like to microneedle my face every two weeks because that's a sufficient enough time for my skin to heal. The second most common mistake would be using the wrong size needle. So the Banisher 2.0 needle is 0.5 millimeters, which is perfect because if you use it weekly, it's deep enough and big enough to address your acne scarring. But if you use a bigger size needle for professional use and a longer needle, that means it can penetrate through nerves and blood vessels and I don't feel comfortable doing that if you're not a professional. So the Banisher 2.0 is the perfect size to be able to microneedle your face at home safely. The third most common mistake is using cheap microneedles. So I've personally seen on Amazon, on eBay, microneedling devices, they're within the cheap price range and they're not good quality because those needles are dull. That's a recipe for disaster. Microneedling tools are not something that you want to be cheap with. So the Banisher 2.0, it's patented and it's developed and designed to maximize the effectiveness of, the, of their microneedling tools. The fourth mistake that I see is people not wearing sunscreen after they microneedle their face. And that is important because if you microneedle your face, you are essentially opening up your skin. It's very important to protect it the next day. And the Banish oil has vitamin C, so it does protect your skin and adds a layer between your skin and sunscreen. I personally do not go out the next day and if and when I do I usually add mineral sunscreen and it's going to be at least SPF 30 because if you microneedle your face and you go outside without sunscreen it's going to increase the chances of sun damage the fifth mistake is microneedling on acne open sores and skin infection Please do not do that. That will increase inflammation and it can spread. So please, please check your face so that you're not microneedling over those types of skin conditions because it can worsen those conditions. The sixth mistake is adding acids to your face after you have microneedled. AHAs, retinol, BHAs, um, are all acids designed to exfoliate your skin. But after your microneedling session, you've already essentially exfoliated and it needs time to recover. I would avoid ingredients like salicylic acid, glycolic acid, and lactic acid after I have microneedled my face. And also, I would not wear makeup at least 24 hours after I have microneedled my face. The seventh mistake is microneedling your face too aggressively. And this is something that I have to remind myself sometimes because it is, I feel like natural for us to think like, oh, the harder I'm gonna microneedle my face, the better results I'm gonna get. But that's not the case. The Banisher 2.0, it's needle size. It's perfect enough to stimulate collagen growth um, with just the right amount of pressure. You don't really need to like, you know, stamp your face aggressively because that's going to give you the opposite effect of what you want. So just gentle, consistent pressure all over your face. That is enough and it's going to do what it needs to do. So the next mistake is not replacing your microneedling tools often. But that is so essential because over time, even though you clean your tool with alcohol, there are going to be built up of bacteria that 
the alcohol can't necessarily get rid of and also over time the needles will get dull so you do need to replace your micro needling tool and I would say about maybe like 10 sessions so the Banisher 2.0 actually has 24 karat plated titanium needles and it can last for 10 sessions and then I would replace that so the next mistake is pretty easy to avoid please 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 wash your hands before you start your micro needling session it is so crucial for you to be as clean as possible because you are using needles to create micro channels on your face so that you can induce collagen growth for me it is important it is vital to wash my hands all right so the last mistake is not being consistent for skincare you need to be consistent it's like going to the gym and exercising one time and expecting results that's not going to happen so you need to give your skin one to three months to see results if you consistently micro needle your face so those are the top 10 micro needling mistakes to avoid thank you so much for watching i hope those steps are clearly explained for you all and that they are helpful. I will see you next time. Bye.